Have you ever wondered about how a hot air balloon works? Well, in this topic, you're going to learn all about it. We'll start by considering gravity, since the hot air balloon must overcome gravity in order to lift off. We will also have a quick look at air resistance, which happens in the atmosphere. If we dropped an object over the side of the hot air balloon, it would experience some air resistance on the way down. This is why skydivers reach what is known as a terminal velocity. For a good understanding of hot air balloons, we will need to understand a little about forces. I will introduce you to Newton's first and second law. These help us relate the forces acting on an object to the movement of the object. Another important force in a hot air balloon is the buoyancy force. This is the upwards force that is greater than the weight force as the hot air balloon takes off. The buoyancy force is due to the hot air inside the balloon having a lower density than the cold air outside. We will also examine Archimedes' principle, which was a very exciting finding and according to legend was the first eureka moment in science. In order to understand how the density of air inside the balloon changes, we will be learning about the ideal gas law. The ideal gas law tells us what happens to gas as its temperature changes and provides an explanation for why hot air has a lower density than cold air. I hope you enjoy this topic as much as I do.